Evening from the sports desk. Now, Russian runner Alexandra Morozova has filed an urgent court application to fight her exclusion from Sunday's Comrades Marathon in KwaZulu Natal. The exclusion is said to be related to World Athletics' ban on Russian competitors, but it appears as if Morozova won't take this line down. Joining us via Zoom to discuss the matter is her lawyer, Mark Leathers. A very good evening, Mr. Leathers. I'm going to start by asking you to unpack your case for us. What exactly is the argument coming from your side? The argument is very simple. The reason given by Comrades Marathon Association for Morozova's exclusion is an instruction, as they give it, from Athletics South Africa to them, who in turn says that they have been given a directive from World Athletics. The World Athletics letter to ASA, Athletics South Africa, simply says, we request that you do this. We recommend that Russian athletes not be allowed, et cetera, et cetera. So it is very clearly a request passed on firstly and not a directive. But in the World Athletics letter, they also cite a number of council resolutions taken by them, which refers to exclusions from World Athletics series uh, events mm. or World Athletics road label races. Comrades Marathon is none of those. So our view is that this is simply an exclusion based on the fact that Morozova holds a Russian passport. And that is something which we in this country should especially be sensitive to in that we here have somebody being discriminated against simply because of her background or her nationality and not because of anything she has done to warrant exclusion from the race. Mm, so as it stands, have papers been, been filed? What's going to happen in the next couple of hours? The initial founding papers were filed by us. Comrades Marathon Association advised this afternoon that they are indeed intending opposing the matter. Their opposing papers were due by 6 p.m. They were received by us at approximately 6.50 p.m. We need to file our reply by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then the matter is going to be heard before Justice Rob Mossop at 9 a.m. in yeah. Maritzburg. So when she registered, so we've known about the Comrades Marathon happening for months now. So obviously she registered. So when she registered, there was no issue. Nobody said she can't register. And also she trained as per usual, knowing that she's going to participate. Correct. Morozova's version is that she made application for the race, she met all the criteria, they accepted her entry, took her entry fees, and even as recently as the 20th of August, utilized her in official comrades' marketing uh, campaigns mm. as a potential winner. The opposing papers we've just received tonight from comrades says that because Morozova on her application changed her country of residence from Russia to Thailand and back a couple of times indicates mm. that she knew there may be a problem. That is simply not true. Morozova is in the process of moving to Thailand and has spent a substantial amount of time training there. Yeah. But at no stage was she aware or expected any issue at all. This being something which has caught her completely by surprise on the 25th of August only, mm. after expending plenty of time training and a significant amount of money on transport arrangements to South Africa as well. Speaking about money, how is this going to affect her sponsors if she doesn't end up running? How will this affect her sponsors? Because you did say that she is a contender. She's finished second or third on three occasions. How will this affect her sponsors if she doesn't run? Well... Very realistically, it will, because she does have a number of sponsorship and endorsement deals that are subject, A, to her running, and furthermore, have certain sweeteners or incentives if she places on the podium. So never mind the comrades' prize money as well, which there is a realistic prospect of her actually being in the running for, but she does stand to lose a significant amount of money from sponsors should she not be able to run. So just lastly, how confident are you, Mark, that you will um, successfully challenge this decision? 
it would be naive to say that we will succeed mm. because absolutely no litigation is guaranteed. At the end of the day, there are competing versions and we have a competent judge who has to make a decision on this. We are, however, extremely confident of our prospects. We are confident of the fact that not only ethically is the correct thing for her to run and be allowed to participate, but on the legal side, we definitely do feel that the facts are strongly in Morozova's favor. All right, thank you so much for unpacking that for us. That was lawyer Mark Leathers. All right, that's all the sports for the moment. Back to Anli.